97.9 A Box is the Mad Hatter. Morty Show. And we're in the studio with a champion. Uh, give it. Give me all the details about the actual name of what this is, the competition, and then we're going to get all into it, Miss Smith. I am Ramona J. Smith, the 2018 World Champion of Public Speaking. The organization is Toastmasters International. There it is. Come, can't you yeah. get a little bit yeah. of now, uh, Jay Mack was all over this. He's like, Thank oh, my you. God. He was all over this. Oh, I appreciate that. He was telling me how important this is. This is a big deal. Hatter, we got to talk about it. She's incredible. What is it? How do you get to be a part of it? Why were there so many people a part of this as well? Because I understand it's thousands upon thousands yes. upon thousands of thousands. And maybe, maybe 30,000 people, was it? 30,000 people started initially in the competition at right. the club level. Right, right. And then it dwindled down to 106 at semifinals, and then 10 at finals, and then and then me. The <laughs> wow. So take me through your journey. Yeah, like, where did yeah, you start? Go. Was it the first uh, competition was in Houston, then he moved to another city, or what? How, how did it all go? Toastmasters is an international organization, and each city has hundreds of clubs. So whatever city you're in, that's the club in your area that you're a part of. My club is the SciFair Super Speakers okay. because I live in the SciFair area. And so I competed in my club with one other person. And then once I uh, defeated him, sorry, Glenn, president, love you, then I moved <laughs> on to the area level, and that's like the clubs in our area. Okay. And then once I won at that level, I moved to the division level. And that's like everybody in our division. And then once division is done, you move to the district level. My district is 56, and I beat out everybody in District 56. Houston is huge, so that's mm -hmm. a lot of people. Right. And then on to the semifinals in Chicago. So every district that participated in the program, the winners met in Chicago. It was 106, I believe. We met in Chicago and competed in nine different groups for the semifinals. And out of those nine groups with maybe like 10, eight people, the winners of that events to the final stage. All right. Now, before we talk more about the, the championship that you've been a part of, is this something that you've always been doing personally? Yes. Yes. I've where, been where to start and why? I, I, I first realized I wanted to be a motivational speaker when I was 19, but I did not know that you could make a career out of it because I didn't have a point of reference. I didn't have an auntie mm. who was a public speaker. I was a little girl from the inner city. I didn't know anything about public speaking, so right. I kind of let it slide. But when I moved to Los Angeles when I was 23, that's when my sister said, okay, you've been thinking about this public speaking for years. Why don't you join a Toastmasters club? Mm -hmm. And Toastmasters helps you build your leadership and communication skills. So once I uh, joined the Toastmasters club in LA, that's when I started building my brand as the ladybug speaker. I've been doing this for eight years, but nobody knows you until you're someone. And so now you can just go me. around public speaking because you win these championships? Oh, yes. I really? am this well is a, sought this is a, after. This is a business? This is a, is, I can't charge Toastmasters, but the other people who want me, they have to pay me outside of really? Toastmasters. Oh, yes, absolutely. Now, is this for you to do original content or to, to motivate? What is it about? It's, everything I do is original, and it's, it's informative, and it's motivational and inspirational, but whatever uh, area or lane the, the winner is, that's how they take it. The previous winners, most of them are like businessmen. Mm -hmm. This is a male-dominated competition. I'm right. only the second black woman to win and the fifth woman to win since 1938. Right, right. I was going to ask you about that, mm -hmm. too. That's kind of crazy. They said this one was a little different, too, because some of the top spots were led by women as well. First, second, and third place were women. That has never happened in the past 80 years of the competition. What do you think it was about this year why women were dominant? You know what? I is really it the times we're in is it? I think so. Yeah. I think maybe it's just a, a women's motivational movement. I think <laughs> that we are just coming out of our shells and we're just ready to to blow up and get out the kitchen and get out this uh, box of motherhood and really show the world that we can compete and we are the best in the world. Now, are the material that you're writing is it something that they give you that you have to write about, or is this material that you have to come up with it all on your own? It's, it's, it's supposed to be completely original. I think you can add about 30% of quotes and other people's uh, words and, and, and languages and stuff, but it has to be mostly original. Is this timed during the competition? It is timed. If you, if you, yeah, if you go over, you're if out? If you go over seven minutes and 30 seconds, you're done. You're wow. disqualified. And so how did you choose your last speech? Because that seems like it was a personal speech, it and it showed a part of your life. Mm -hmm. and. How difficult was it to say that, and how long did it take you to write that? Or it was something that you've been writing all your life, and you just said it just like that? You know what? I wrote that speech in the hotel room the night before, 
And I know that's that's sad. Don't do that, kids. Don't wait to the last minute. But I had a speech prepared, but I knew that it wasn't a championship speech. So I scratched it. How did it. you know? How did you know? Because when I when I won at semifinals, I connected more to the audience and mm. I got a feel of the audience. And so when I was writing the other one, I was just in my house like, oh, I wonder this this might be what they want to hear. But once I knew the audience more, it was like, okay, I got to give them what they want. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you so how did you base what you want to talk about by gauging the audience during that weekend? How did you do that? I, I knew I wanted to be transparent, but I didn't want to be uh, depressing mm-hmm. because the story can be depressing depending on how I would have told the story. Mm-hmm. And I left a major part out about my son because nobody wants to hear about a kid with cancer. You know, he doesn't have cancer anymore. He's he's uh, uh, cancer free. But I didn't want to add that. Element. I think that would have been an important part of this story to me. But how because many minutes people, do you have? Seven and a half. Seven yeah. and a half. Yeah, I don't need you getting on me, buddy. I'm just asking <laughs> okay. questions. Because I know you and Cooper will get on people. Now, we're going to have a nice interview today while Miss Smith is in the building. Okay, okay. So let's keep it respectful, buddy. <laughs> okay. This guy be tripping, man. He's right, though. You don't want him to get disqualified. It's, she won't get disqualified. <laughs> but there has to be. A, you got to add that to the story. It's a very important part of the story. But honestly, she didn't because she Hey, won. watch yourself, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Me and Jen were talking. Are we in the ring right now? No, 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 no. You know. <laughs> no, but I, 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 it's interesting. How hard was it for you to make the decision? Like, you know what? This is depressing. I'm not going to. How long did it take you to mull over that and say, no, nope, not in? That was instant because when I lost in 2015, I lost at the district level. And I lost because my speech was too depressing. I didn't bring them back you think? up. I, and it, no, it was. What no, was it, it about, the speech? My, my speech in 2015 was called Unbreakable. At that point, I had just got divorced. At that point, my son was about to go through radiation. At that point, I didn't have any direction in my life, and my life was in shambles. So I'm telling the audience all this, and I didn't Be bring them back up. All kind of bad exactly. Stuff. And I didn't bring them back up and say, well, this is how I conquered it, and this is how I got over it, and this is how you can. It was a straight depressing. It was straight depressing. It's not like you are complaining almost. I mean, you complaining, yeah. just, oh, woe is me. <laughs> yeah, Everybody, let's you. have a pity party. And I knew going in, I didn't want to do that. But I do want to be transparent and show you that even though I'm on this world championship stage, I failed. Stuff, yeah. I failed a lot. Mm-hmm. I dropped out of college four times. My marriage lasted eight months. I lost before I got here. But I'm you, sorry, stop. Oh, eight months? Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I, I, mean, I can't talk. Mine lasted eight months, too. Oh, yes. I'm just wondering why yours lasted eight Fools months. I'm just trying in. to learn something. Fools rush in, not doing my research and not being prepared to be a wife. I wanted mm. to be married, but I didn't want to be a wife. I wanted him to be my husband, but I didn't want to be a wife. It's mm. a big difference. Ooh. I didn't want I the why you speaking, girl. That's a good one right there. I knew that book coming soon now. Absolutely. I felt that. You see how fast she got right to it? Ooh, I felt that. That's some real stuff right there. So... so Go ahead. So who are some top speakers for you? I mean, now that you're in the business, who are some people that, hey, these are the people that I've learned from or or get inspired by? Mm-hmm. Les Brown, of course. Oh, yeah, I love Les, Les. Brown, of <laughs> absolutely, of course. Iyana Van Zant, for sure. Uh, Tony Robbins is big for me. He's like the OG speaker, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any he's, new he's school? Big for me. Any that I might not, might not be on my radar? Bashir Jones from mm-hmm. Cleveland, Ohio. Bashir Jones, he's a political activist. Yeah, I think I heard he this is a leader. He is the con- the councilman in one of the wards up in uh, my city, and he is just a phenomenal man doing a lot of great things. He's one of the best speakers I've seen so far, and he's my age. We're, we're in our early 30s. And so how do you grade a good speaker? In Toastmasters, there's a, there's a criteria you based it on appearance, originality. Appearance? Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Vocal variety and a few other things. It's like a, a, a ballot and they, they judge you. I think it's on a scale of like one to five or something like that. It's, it's a grading scale and they, they score you and, and it's based on that. How do you join? You just look it up, toastmasters.org and find a club. You put in your zip code or your city and fees. it'll. Fees. Fees. The dues are like maybe. $60 every three months or something like that. It's not very expensive. And you think it's worth it if you want to be a Absolutely. great speaker? Absolutely. Absolutely. Toastmasters has transformed me into an amazing leader and an effective communicator. I'm a teacher, so I have yeah, to I speak every you, day. I know you're a teacher, so how does this how does this translate to your students? Do you encourage them to be a part of programs like this as well, or you don't bring that into the classroom? Well, now it's, it's, it's there. Yeah, so now know. I encourage it. But initially... I didn't say, well, everybody should be a public speaker, even though I do know the public speaking, uh, that that skill is is very uh, nice to have. Mm-hmm. But for me, being a Toastmaster and this being my first year of teaching, I have to get in front of 198 teenagers and keep them entertained for 90 whole minutes. 
that's a skill within itself, and that's something that I did uh, was able to pull from being a member of Toastmasters. How did you decide to be a teacher? It pays more than PR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's... I got my degree in public relations and marketing, but I couldn't find a decent job. And so the teaching salary here is like 20 grand more than uh, entry-level PR. Okay. All right. All right. And this is your first year. How you like it so far? I love it. Yeah. I love it. I work 187 days out the year, weekends off, holidays off. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she making teaching sound glamorous. Hey, can you give us a speech? Can you make up something right now? Impromptu? Absolutely. We do a thing oh, called table style? topics. Really? Well, we, do, we do table topics where they give you a topic. It's impromptu. It's off the cuff, and you have to Oh, I got a good topic. for two and a half minutes. How great is J-Mac? Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, that's, that's what she stumped on. I got you. I can't do it. You know what? <laughs> that's the first you know what? <laughs> this, this is the first time in her career. Are you going to veto this? No, this is a, listen, this is the first time in her career she like, you know what? I have nothing for this. Oh, I got it. I have brown shirt. Freestyle King, okay. Radio Dad, we're well, done. We'll give her her one. We'll give her two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> That's two. Why don't we give her a strong thirty-two seconds? There you go. A strong uh, thirty-two. No, <laughs> no, it gotta be like you know they great this. I'm great. When he start running this over here, <laughs> I'm great. Can we? Can two are minutes. we serious? Uh, topics all you about want her for two uh, minutes? Yes. Really? She don't know me. I want to see what she makes up. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, go Let's ahead. Let's go. Ego's at an all-time high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, J-Mac show. <laughs> the J-Mac morning show. I remember yesterday okay. when we had the Mad you know what? morning show. <laughs> Say something about the Mad Hatter morning show. That For put everybody in. Two minutes? Yeah, two okay. minutes. Tell me when. Go. I am here at the Mad Hatter morning show. I am starstruck. I am in awe. I am amazed. I'm with my girl, AJ. She's repping in the hey. building. I'm hey. surrounded by so much amazing masculinity. And I'm sandwiched between melanated brothers, and I'm feeling empowered, and I'm feeling comforted, and I'm feeling <laughs> supported, and I'm getting like a real strong Tupac vibe from Jamie. Oh, I am. Oh, Please don't say I this. I am. And I'm feeling a poetic <laughs> justice. I love it. And he's got the 97.9 the box shirt. He's repping. I love the red. It's regal. It's an African king swag, and I'm feeling it. He got the gold <laughs> around his neck. I'm loving it. And Mad Hatter, I salute you I salute for you. all you've done and for giving me this platform. I really appreciate all that you guys are doing. You're so successful. I'm so happy for you, my brothers. I really am. I am so glad that you give young people the opportunity to share our gifts. And Jimbo, I love your personality. Oh, I love you. how you kind of just, you're the cloud in the background holding everything together. The it's cloud. The cloud. <laughs> 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 he's just so mellow. He's over there. He's 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 the one in the in the corner. Like yeah yeah okay we got this. You're the coach in the corner saying get up. Okay. Get up. Okay. Stand up. I will take that. Yeah. You are. <laughs> this is the ring. Everything. I don't know your personal stories. I don't know the camera guy personal story. I don't know the engineers, the we producers. I don't know your personal <laughs> stories, but this is all working collectively and collaborative, collaboratively. It's synergy in here, and I feel it, and I appreciate everybody, and I'm just so honored and happy to be here. Thank you. Ramona Smith. Yeah. <laughs> she won. Nice. nice. Now, actually, on the coup, you should give us just, if you can give us a little portion of your actual. Still where, standing. Yeah. As to why you won, give us just a little portion of that if you don't mind. Of the speech? Yeah. Okay. Just your favorite, your favorite part of it. Okay. The part where you're like, mm, I know I got him right here. <laughs> um, let me see. I talked about three rounds, so I think I'll start where I went back to college. Okay, so <clears throat> I got back in the ring. I went back to college, and after failing four times, I graduated magna cum laude. Even after failing, I'm still standing. Toastmasters, when I failed at the district level, I stand before you today on the world championship stage. Even after suffering a loss, I'm still standing. As for my marriage, I'm still in training. <laughs> I have yet to find Mr. Wright. But I am on the ninth floor at 97.9 The Box, and I'm sure there are some guys, some successful guys, who will be more than happy oh <laughs> to take me to Paris very soon. Ah! <laughs> well, you lost, you lost the 
<laughs> no, that's excellent, man. We really appreciate it. Really, you want to shout out to your students at the school? Absolutely. If you are listening, Miss Smith students, I love you guys so much. Thank you, MacArthur High School. Thank you, All Dean ISD. I love you all. I can't wait to see you guys soon. Thanks for supporting me and watching my videos. My kids are giving me views. So thank you so very much. We're at over 100K on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, MacArthur. Oh, and social media, too. I got to ask you. You know, everybody's on social media. They might want to follow CC. Yes. Because do you ever put out, like, maybe inspirational quotes or something I like that? I will be. I'm building my brand now, so okay, I cool, will be. Okay, cool, uh, Instagram is at Ladybug Speaker, and Facebook is Ramona J. Smith. Ramona J. Smith. Ramona. Yes. Can you give us three quick tips on how we can become better public speakers? Just mm. some, some quick that we can improve on. Absolutely. First of all, be yourself. Don't try to mimic or mock anybody else. Second of all, practice. Prepare. Don't just go in there trying to wing it. You need to rehearse. And thirdly, try not to use crutch words like um, uh, you know, mm, mm, mm so, but, and. Awesome. Right. Very nice. Right. Then I won't have a speech. You know, you know, so, so. And. All right, let's give it up again. Ramona J. Smith, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. The Toastmasters world champion of public speaking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you for real. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, guys.